Hey everyone, I'm David Rubin, Director of Product Testing at thesleepdoctor.com. And I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor. We talk about all different kinds of sleeping positions on our site, back, stomach, side sleeping, or maybe you're just someone who winds up in the fetal position. But sleeping on your back means you need a surface that keeps your hips and torso in proper alignment. That's right. If you're not careful, sleeping on your back could lead to a number of issues down the road. You need to have the right mattress that supports your unique needs as a back sleeper. So let's talk about what back sleepers need to get their best night of sleep. When we look at back sleepers, they tend to put the most pressure on their lower back and lumbar region. So for that reason, any bed they sleep on needs to be really supportive in that area. Yeah, a bed that's too soft for a back sleeper means their hips and shoulders are gonna push down on the surface and sag too far into it. What that means is your hips will end up sinking lower than your shoulders, and that could knock your spine out of proper alignment. We find in our testing that back sleepers have the best support on relatively firm surfaces. So we're looking here at beds in the medium firm to firm range, depending on how much you weigh. And that's a key point, David. Your body weight really does play an important role in how firm a bed you need. Over at thesleepdoctor.com, we have a handy table that helps you figure out what kind of firmness level is best for your body weight. Yeah, for instance, most back sleepers need something between about a six to nine on our 10 point firmness scale. If you're a lightweight sleeper, someone who's around 130 pounds or less, you can probably feel quite comfortable on a bed that comes in at about a six to seven. Medium weight sleepers, we'd probably recommend you bump up to something like a seven or eight. And then heavyweight sleepers, think around 230 pounds or more, we recommend something in the seven to nine range for firmness. Yeah, taking your body weight into account is really important. You need a surface that's firm enough to counteract any sinkage that could occur and promote even spinal alignment. Okay, with that being said, telling folks to just buy a medium firm to firm bed is only part of the story. Dr. Bruce, there are foam beds, hybrid beds, latex. So what's the best kind of mattress to consider here? Well, a lot of this comes down to personal preference, but whenever I have patients who are back sleepers, I tend to steer them more towards a hybrid or a latex bed. These tend to offer the right mixture of firmness and comfort. That makes a lot of sense. Hybrid mattresses are kind of the best of both worlds in a bed. They have really soft comfort layers like you might find on a foam bed, but underneath is a layer of coils that offer very, very strong support. For many back sleepers, this means they can sink into the bed and have the top layer conform to their hips, spine, and shoulders, but the coils promote an even alignment across their torso. They also have pretty good motion isolation and tend to sleep relatively cool. So there's a lot to like about a hybrid bed. Now another potential bed for back sleepers would be latex. Latex is derived from the sap of a rubber tree and it's made into this really springy, responsive material. It's really a unique feel. For one, you don't really sink into these beds. You get the sensation of sleeping on top of the bed or floating on it. It can be an excellent choice for back sleeper because the material is so resilient. Yeah, the other thing to like about latex is it doesn't have the tendency to retain heat. So if you're a back sleeper who's also a hot sleeper, latex is a great option. You might see them available as either an all latex bed, so here we're talking about layers of latex on top of one another, or you might see them offered as a hybrid. So again, that's layers of coils on the bottom, and then a layer or two of latex on top. All of that is great, but the one thing to note is that they do run you more money than a traditional hybrid or even an all foam bed, so expect to pay quite a bit more for these. Well, you mentioned a memory foam bed, so let's talk about those and uh, why those are a harder recommendation for us at thesleepdoctor.com. Well, all foam beds are wonderful, affordable options, and they can really get them almost anywhere. Amazon, Costco, Target, you name it. They can be great at motion isolation, so if you sleep with a partner or a restless pet, you're unlikely to be woken up. But here's the thing. When memory foam heats up, like from your body heat, it tends to soften and mold to your body. That does two things. One, it makes you pretty hot because there's no place for the heat to go. But secondly, it tends to compromise support. You lose some of that firmness that you need as a back sleeper. So we really only recommend all foam bed to lightweight back sleepers. Finally, let's talk about how to find the right mattress if you're a back sleeper who also happens to suffer from back pain. Yep, that's a really important question. A mattress needs to promote alignment by supporting the natural curvature of the spine. A medium firm hybrid bed could be a great choice. It's going to give you the necessary support for your back, but also a little flexibility. A bed isn't going to cure or solve any underlying issues leading to back pain, but by finding one with the right firmness level, it may help alleviate some of your symptoms. Yeah, as you said, it's all about keeping your hips, torso, and shoulders in proper alignment. 
Well, Dr. Bruce, that's everything anyone ever wanted to know about finding the right mattress for back sleepers. We covered most of it for sure. If you want to learn more about how to buy the right mattress for back sleepers or check out some of our favorite picks for back sleepers, then head over to thesleepdoctor.com. Yep. And while back sleeping is common, you may be surprised to learn what the healthiest sleeping position is. For more on that, check out our video right here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm David Rubin. And this is Dr. Michael Bruce, the Sleep Doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.